Hey, yeah, what's up? The Disciple Marshall Occurrence rain back up in this anti Illuminati all day, anti telepathy all day, anti America all day, and everybody with them, yeah. So, this message basically is going to be about <clears throat> you know how I'm on my campaign of uh, 40 states allows children to have sex in America. You know, I'm on that. I'm on that. I'm on that till the revolution starts, man. So, just get used to it. I ain't going nowhere but that. You know, because you don't know it. You haven't been knowing it. You ain't been talking about it. And none of your leaders have been talking about it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to feed you this information until you, until you realize it's your reality in America. Until you realize that these laws are your reality, your vibration in your country. Because... The laws create vibrations. Yeah, let me say that again. Laws create vibration because these laws create corresponding human action behind these laws. So if you create laws for gay marriage, then it's going to be corresponding action by human beings because of the laws of gay marriage which those human beings are going to create a vibration with their actions. Same thing with the 40 states that allow children to have sex. This is going to create vibrations in the world. Children allowed to have sex, they're going to have vibrations in the world. Doing those things with fully grown adults. So this is your vibrational reality. Whether you like it, whether you agree with it, you don't know what people are doing in your neighborhood. You don't know what these people are doing in your neighborhood. You have no earthly idea. All you can assume is what makes you feel comfortable. Whether that's negativity or positivity. If you choose to think everybody's just being peaceful and being happy and doing no evil, then hey, if that, that makes you feel comfortable to believe that. Okay? Other people, it makes, it makes us comfortable realizing the reality. It makes us comfortable accepting reality, which is 40 states allows children to have sex, therefore somebody got to be doing something wrong. Okay? Ain't no way in the world them laws going to be set up there, propped up in the, in the government, and nobody's taking advantage of it in 2022. You're out your mind if you think nobody's taking advantage of them laws. Okay? Okay? Got it good. Got it good. And I'm going to keep pushing it until you understand that these laws push, they have vibration. Okay? Children like that, children having sex, 40 states allowing children to have sex. This is the activities because of these laws is a vibration a vibration a satanic sexual vibration that your government has released on your land okay i get i get mad and angry every time i think about this i do i get angry because I realize the wickedness that's here. And I get angry because I realize that we've been played. You've been played. These people can't even look you in your face. Do you understand that? How are they going to look you in your face when they release a vibration for children to have sex with adults in 40 states? They're responsible for that vibration in your, in that, that's created. They're responsible for that. And here's what they don't want to accept. Here's what the information they don't want to look at. Here's the truth that they don't want to look at. How many people wouldn't be doing this if their laws were not in place in 40 states, allowing children to have sex? How many people would not be doing this? So, in other words... What's the percentage on the people that's doing it only because the laws allow them to do it? 
I'd say about 30%. I'd say about 30 to 40% of the people that's doing this wouldn't be doing this. Wouldn't be now. Meaning, if the laws were set at 18 everywhere in the work in the country, they would not, 30% of these people that's partake of these laws, the liberties, the sexual liberties of these laws, they wouldn't be doing this if the law, 30% of them that's doing it, wouldn't be doing it if the laws of America in 40 states were not allowed them to do it. So they have created laws that push people into having sex with children. And this is liberty. You want to tell you what true liberty? You know how the Bible says... You know how there's a cliche that says, the truth will make you free. The Bible does say, the you should know the truth and the truth shall make you free. There's also a cliche in the world that the truth shall make you free. And it's true. Now that you know this, you're free. You're free from condemnation. They can't talk to you about nothing. How are they going to talk to you about whether you're a pedophile or unclean person, when they got 40 states allowing children to have sex, they can't talk to you about none of that. Who cares what they think? Who cares when you got 40 states allowing children to have sex? We don't care what you think. That's We're free. We're free, buddy. Won't you go fix your 40 states that allow children to have sex? Won't you go do that, buddy? Won't you go fix and worry and which worry about these 40 states that's having sex with children. Won't you go worry about the politicians and go find out who put these laws in place? Won't you go find out who they are? You ain't going to do that because you're not about that life. Like I told you, these people are frauds. They act like they protect the children. Even these police, you are frauds. You know the law and you should have been fighting the law. You should have been fighting 40 states allowing children to have sex. And you sitting around riding around like you night rider protecting the children. You're full of crap, man. Okay? Let's get it real. Let's be real. They're full of crap. Okay? Same thing is with these all these leaders and all these people. They're not telling you this. And this matters. You're not telling you can ask these parents if they care about this. You care about your 17, 16-year-old girl, daughter. Having sex with a 30, 50 year old man? Of course you care about that. Of course you don't want that to happen. But you have no control over that legally. That's what I'm trying to show you. It's one thing for to be ticked off and be like, well, you know, it's another thing. You can't do nothing about it. All you're going to do is get ticked off, and that's it. Basically, that's what I'm trying to say. And you can't do nothing about it. Your children having sex in 40 states, 16-year-old, 17-year-old, all your parents with your with the seventh with these 16 and 17 year old scrawny kids, these skinny kids that's not even barely able to pick up a pencil. <laughs> they can barely pick up a bicycle. 16 and 17 year old can't even have, barely pick up a bike. Having sex with fully grown adults in America. This is what I'm telling you. It's possible. All you kid, all you parents that have kids in America, right here, not in not in some 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 island, <laughs> not in an island, not in an island. No, not in some tropical island. Right here in America, your children can have sex in 40 states. Your scrawny little 16-year-old, 17-year-old girl who is barely ministrating can have kids. I mean, excuse me, can have sex, which will produce kids. That's allowed in 40 states here in America. Did you know that? See, I beat you with the truth, America. I didn't have to pick up one rifle. I didn't have to pick up one gun. And that's what you was expecting. You was expecting to be destroyed by nukes, nuclear bombs, and grenades, and guns. That's what, and, and everything in between. Chemical warfare. But you are destroyed with this information. And that's a fact. 
Ain't no parent down here in their right minds would tell me that you would sign and, and sign into place laws that allow 16 and 17 year old girls to have sex in 40 states. You wouldn't sign that law. That's the bottom line. You, would you sign? Would you have the heart to sign? You want to talk about who has a heart and who doesn't? Let's talk about the people who put these laws into place. 16 and 17 year old girls get to have sex in 40 states. You tell me who has a heart. When you ain't talking about this, and I am. Don't talk about the well, don't talk about the well-being of my heart. Talk about the well-being of the heart of the people that can actually sit down and sign these laws into place in 40 states that allow your children to have sex. Question the hearts of those people. But you're not going to do that, though. That's what I'm saying. You're not about that life. So don't try to be about it at all. Don't try to be about it at all. Because I'm showing you the work. You're looking for someone to witch hunt. You're looking for some weirdos. I'm showing you right here. 16 and 17 year old kids can have sex in 40 states. And these people put these laws into place that are over you. I'm not stopping this. Because I know I got something that be, I know I got something. I finally got these bastards. I got something that you can't say is conspiracy. This ain't no conspiracy. What you gonna say? I made it up. Who cares what my, what my, my motives are? This is the truth. Who cares? Huh? I mean... <laughs> I don't know any American American worrying about what my motives are. You you you're interested in how in the world forty states allow children to have sex, and we're sitting here witch hunting people with the FBI and got R. Kelly in jail. R. Kelly should be set free for, because of this. Was he having sex with somebody below sixteen? Hello. Was he having sex with somebody below 16? Was, Mike, was, was R. Kelly? Because, 70, because 40 states allows children 16, either 16 or 17 to have sex in this country. We want to know how old those people were. Okay? Set R. Kelly free. Because, see, this is a trick that the enemy uses. This is what the devil does. He goes around America... You're influenced. You're influenced to think that, oh, only adults should be having sex. This is what everybody acts like. You can't ask any parents who say, do you want your children having sex? There's no parent that says, yes. Yes, I want my child to have sex. Yes. Who says that? Who does that? Who does that? Lil Boosie did it. The rapper did it. He's always talking about somebody being gay. Bruh. Lil Boosie hooked his 16-year-old son up with a fully grown woman. Oh, you didn't know that, did you? And he think it's making it any better because the child is 16. It's still a child, bro. Okay, where you living at? Okay, that part. OK. But these are the same people that go out and talk about we got to protect our children. He even says this, bro, you are the worst example. What if somebody says I have a 16 year old daughter, Lil Boosie, let his 16 year old son have sex. I'm going to let I'm going to let my 16 year old daughter get broke in tonight. Yeah, I got a friend named Dave that'll break her in real good. That's what he did. That's what Lil Boosie did. He went and got a, a, some fully grown stallion to have sex with his 16-year-old boy. And But you wouldn't allow a 16-year-old girl to do the same thing, though. That's what I'm trying to show you. You would not let a 16-year-old girl have sex. So, but you let a 16-year-old boy do it because you want him to be a man. You need to find other ways for him to be a man. And if you're that scared of him being gay, I'm sorry. You need to go pray. That's what you need to go do. You can't throw a fully grown woman on him because you want him to be a man. 
I mean, that's that's ridiculous. And y'all ain't the black community. Y'all just trying to hide that information much as you can because y'all Boosie is one of y'all little champions. He's one of y'all little champions. He's your little prize pit bull. <laughs> He's the pick of the litter. He's the pick of the litter. Well, the pick of the litter allowed someone that's not an adult. We establish people are either children or adults. He allowed a child to have sex with an adult. With an adult, man. And y'all would think y'all would freak out if someone told you they did that with their child. So y'all are kind of sexist. You let boys do anything. That's, that's a form of being sex, a sexist. But if a female girl had sex and was broken in by her dad, basically, by allowing some guy to come screw his 16-year-old kid professionally with real professional sex, you would, ju- you would lose your, your, you would lose your bowels right there in your living room, wherever you at. Ain't no way in the world no 16-year-old girl should be, dad should be hooking her up with some guy. That's ridiculous. Well, that's what little Boosie did. He he hooked his 16-year-old child up with a fully grown woman. And you don't hear any, you hear crickets when you you act to talk to these rappers. You talk to these rappers about that. Well, that's somebody else's business. Well, then he shouldn't Boosie put himself in that situation, first of all, by revealing that information to us. Okay. He, yeah, I didn't find it anywhere. I didn't I didn't go I didn't take a boat and go to a cave and go inside the cave and go to a lake and find a scroll and some pottery. I didn't do that. He told us this information. And you shouldn't be sitting up trying to talk about protect the children from gay people like as if they're predators. We gotta protect our children. We gotta do bruh. Look what you just did. That's what I'm saying. Okay? Let's cut the, let's cut the, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, please, 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 all right, everybody talking about being real, but you still are in denial about 40 states allowing children to have sex, you're in denial, you don't believe it, you don't know what that means, that means a 16 to 17 year old girl can go have sex with a 70-year-old man. That's what it means. It means right here in New York City, your 16-year-old scrawny girl that can't even pick up pick up her own bike, she can go have sex with a 55-year-old man. That's what it means. That's what it means. Okay? Just in case you don't know, you don't like to think about the visuals, you, you, you're not morally strong enough to visualize this, Okay, so I'm got I gotta I gotta give you something because you're not one to think about it on your own because you just want to dismiss it and act like a little child like you can't take what goes goes on in the world. You got to take what goes on in the world at some point. Okay, there's a lot of professions that have to deal with what goes on in the real world. It's time for you American citizens. To be able to take and stomach your surroundings, and you got to you gonna you gonna have to stomach this, because I'm gonna make sure you get it. I'm gonna make sure you get this information. Forty states allows children to have sex. That means your little neighborhood watch isn't on its job. Won't they take their tail down to city hall and get out your face trying to witch hunt you? And try to make you some Freddy Krueger character when 40 states allows children to have sex. You see how quiet they are? You know why they're quiet? Because they don't know what to do. That's why they're quiet. Because they look like dumb, founded idiots. Dumb, just like I said it. Dumb, founded idiots. You can't witch hunt a flea in this country when you got 40 states allowing children to have sex. Oh yeah, I'm gonna keep hitting it. Cause it ain't racist. You can't say I'm being racist. What's racist about it? See, America, like I said, thought they would be destroyed 
by bombs and tanks, and they got all this power, this superpower. But they, but it's so funny, man, and sad at the same time. This country has been destroyed because of their lack of morality. I don't even have to use the gay marriage. Fifty states in one in in in, in all fifty states. The the children having sex in forty states is enough if credible information for this country to have to fall and start over. That's what we're asking it for. No, 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 no. You've been having sex with these children. You've been playing with these children in 40 states secretly because nobody knows. You might as well say secretly because no one knows this information. 40 states, you knew it was 40 states? You didn't know that. You lying. You lying if you say you knew that. You may have known New York. You may have known a couple other places that did or did not. But you didn't know 40 states allows children to have sex. You didn't know that. Stop playing. And if you did know it, how can you sit on some information like that? In your right mind, how can you do it? You sit up here and, and you allow your whole your government to finesse you in so many ways you don't even realize it. You're being finessed in everything by your by your government. They got blatant laws right here for it to all end. This is the revolution. This is the rebellion. When you can sit up and you know now, you know you looking at people. That these go when Obama, you gotta look at it too. Obama, Obama didn't change it. We love Obama, all that good stuff, but Obama did not change 40 states allowing children to have sex. He did not change that. Okay? He made no you either did or you didn't. Okay? We didn't hear you talk about it. We didn't hear you say nothing about it. You supposed to be if you if you if you know this information and you the president, you supposed to be on a campaign about it to, to everybody know. To everybody know. They don't even want to know. That's a that's a campaign. You can't place it where we did it. No, no, no. When you want somebody to know something and you the president, it, it gets out there. It gets out there. And you didn't get it out there. George Bush didn't, Clinton didn't. None of these presidents, Ronald Reagan didn't, nobody changed 40 states allowing children to have sex. And guess who didn't tell you about it? Jesse Jackson didn't tell you about it, and Al Sharpton didn't tell you about it either. Mm -hmm. And I love Farrakhan, but Farrakhan didn't tell you about it either. Farrakhan, he didn't know. Maybe he didn't know. And that's, that's I, 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 love, I love Farrakhan. But Farrakhan did not make messages, to my, to my knowledge, of 40 states allowing children to have sex in America. He's good. He's done very great covering what this foolish country has done and do. But no leaders have talked about 40 states allowing children to have sex. None of your favorite rappers. Jay-Z ain't telling you about it. Ain't none of these rappers telling you about it. Beyonce ain't telling you about it. They ain't telling you 40 states allow children to have sex. They supposed to be the kings and queens of your country. <laughs> yeah. Low key, they supposed to be the kings of the African and American community. I ain't trying to put them out there like that. Hey, that's what it is. Everybody know that. But Jay-Z and Beyonce and all these other rappers are not telling you 40 states allows children to have sex, bruh. Why are you talking about protecting the children? Why are you trying to act like you got a culture that does that? 40 states allows children to have sex in your country. Are you comfortable with your children having sex at 16? By law? By law? Are you comfortable with your country setting up laws that allows predators to be licking their lips when your children turn 16 and 17? No, you do not. You're not with that. I know you're not with that. You cannot tell me and know some smart, little witty way that you're with it. No, you're not with that. I can answer that for you. And yet, this is what it is. 
And you can't blame California because California is, their, their age of consent over there is 18. You can't talk about California. Not in this case. You can't talk about Florida either with all those rednecks down there. It's eight, the age of consent is 18 for uh, Florida too. So you can't blame them. However, it's still 40 states, which is the majority, and it's safe to say, which is the, the, the overall influence and vibration of the community. That this is cool. This influences the community how people feel about sex here in America. This is how we know how people feel. I don't want to hear none of that cultural stuff anymore. These laws... And you not saying nothing, and your leaders not saying nothing, and none of these rappers and people, these black leaders not saying nothing, shows us silence in this situation gives consent. Silence gives silence gives consent. Okay, because you've been new about New York. I I could have told you up about that. I could have told you a new one with how many of you fools in New York City know about seventeen. You know the age of consent is 17. You've been to it. I could have told you, I could have told your whole country a new one from that. Yeah, you know about New York City having the age of consent at 17. Come on now, you know that. And that is not the age of an adult. I could have told you a new one from that. But 40 states allows children to have sex. So if I really was on you, I would have just went with that. But 40 states allows it, man.